Joining us live is George Tragos, attorney for John Graziano, the victim in his car crash. George, um, he's been sentenced to eight months, um, not solitary confinement. So what's with, well, I know that this, he's not your client, but what's with that? Why isn't he in a general population? Florida statutes require the sheriff to segregate him from the adult prisoners. Uh, it's necessary, it's the law, and, and that's where he's going to have to stay until June 27th when he can go uh, into the general population. But until then, he's got to be segregated. And I'm sorry he doesn't like his cell, but that's the law, and he's got to abide by it like every other prisoner. Well, I mean, if you think about it, though, look, I, I, look, I, I found it appalling, that tape I heard the other day. You know that, um, you know, it's, and you and I have discussed that. I thought it was outrageous, but um, he's, he's, right now he's treated, he's a juvenile until he turns 18, and he's getting a, an inhumane punishment that we all agree on, which is, we can call it segregation, but solitary confinement is another term for it. And uh, it, you know, I, I think you run the risk if the sheriff can't come up with something better that he is going to get that ankle bracelet, uh, uh, and the judge is going to put him under house arrest. Well, I don't, I don't see any legal justification for that, Greta. How many times, you know, you Maybe and I again legal, both practice criminal law, but, but not legal. It's, I mean, almost, almost eighth, almost cruel and unusual, at, uh, you know, punishment. If he's a kid, how he's many, in, in solitary confinement. How many times have clients called you up and said to you, look? I don't like the cell I'm in. I don't like the jail I'm in. I should be in a camp. I shouldn't be in this prison. And, and you say, look, the, the executive authority can put you wherever they want as long as it's a legal, justified location. And that's exactly what they're doing because that's what they have to do by statute. Well, except that he's a juvenile. That's number one. And number two is that someone who gets put in what they call segregation, which is solitary confinement in many instances, can make a request to go into general population and get it. Usually, I mean, if it, whether it's, if it's not a behavioral uh, classification, but rather one for one's own safety, for instance, which is what this one is. Um, I, you know, I, I th I, George, you know what? If I were the judge on this, as bad as I think that this kid was, because I heard that obnoxious tape, I would tell the sheriff, if you don't come up with something better, because my punishment was eight months in jail. It was not eight months in solitary confinement. And in fact, he couldn't even issue that order. Um, you know what I'd like to do now, Greta? I'd like to have him resentenced. Well, I know, but the, you can be re I know you want him resentenced to get a, a larger sentence, but the law yeah. won't permit you to come in and, and whack him with a, a larger sentence because he's been obnoxious. I mean, you, know, you get that. I mean, the, ju the only sentence you're going to get is a lesser one. No, no, you're right about that, except for the fact if they file a motion with him to withdraw it, you know, he's just saying, I'll go to trial rather than being here, or I'll, I'll appeal it. Let him go to trial. Well, you're asking them to vacate the plea of no contest or whatever. He didn't plead guilty. But anyway, um, George, it be interesting to see what the judge does. When is the judge supposed to hear this, by the way? Is there a date certain yeah. on that? There's been no date set. All right, George, we'll watch it and uh, come on back uh, when, when it's heard. Thank you, George. Okay, great. I will see you. You have three minutes left.